Yeah. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me go back to the beginning of your legal career and ask you in the few minutes we have left, your cases come in, you decide to take or not or whatever to represent these people. How do you go about, how did you go about then setting strategies? I don't mean marshalling the legal arguments or writing the briefs or so on, but setting strategies for convincing someone that your client was right or your client had been wronged and that justice ought to prevail. How did you marshal your energies and forces to do that? Is that too broad a question? Well, uh, I know every case I, is different. Yeah, but I, I think in the civil rights area, we had uh, almost some major efforts uh, to bring uh, people together and strategies mm -hmm. together to try to plan how we were going to approach different problems. In the school area, the biggest problem we had in the early stages was to convince black people that they ought to assert their rights. Mm -hmm. um, NAACP was um, very good in, in this in going around with mass meetings and bringing people who were scared to death out to uh, talk about uh, the, the advantages of integrated schools. Uh, more recently, the problem is whether we could develop the theory that uh, integrated schools was the best approach for educational, for the black children in the community. For that, you had to really marshal some people, mm -hmm. uh, experts and others, to uh, talk about how integration would, would help advance opportunity of uh, students in education, black students particularly. So uh, convincing a group or marshalling uh, evidence of pulling your case together was uh, a lot more sophisticated than in the, in the early stages. So it's not simply a matter of going to court and making the best argument. It's also a matter of rallying community and building up support in the large community for the ideas you're later going to argue in court. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. There's a step before you open the doors mm -hmm. of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, now that's something I, I've read that Charles Houston mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. liked to do, but uh, I hadn't realized that later generations did this as well. I think you have to because you would have, in most cases, uh, opposition by black people mm -hmm. to some of the things that you were trying to, to do. And uh, you'd want to uh, help as many black people as possible appreciate that uh, the approach was the best approach for black children. Now, in your role as chancellor, have you ever had to follow this multi-step process? Oh, yeah. You want something done. Um, you can't just, or, or you think you can't just go to people and say, here's my idea, let's do it. You have to do more than that? Oh, yeah. You know, just talking about diversity on the campus mm -hmm. is because there are a lot of black students and black faculty who would like to keep the school as it was. Uh, and they dream about a, an all-black North Carolina Central in 3,000. Mm -hmm. um, and getting them to appreciate that uh, you won't have the, the, the students or the faculty or the funding resources, uh, that the Constitution would not permit uh, this or that, requires time and effort, uh, and we, we have to go through and do that. But there must be inevitably at least some people in the end who say, I don't care what the Constitution says. I don't care what the funding is. I don't care about any of this. I don't want to do it. They are. And do okay. you just forget them or do you keep? No, you do as much as you can to convince them. And you try to show them and you keep your lines open and you keep communicating. But you appreciate you have to do it and that is to communicate. And you also appreciate that not everybody is going to be uh, supporting what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, mm -hmm. thank you for supporting this effort. We much appreciate mm -hmm. it, and uh, thank you for being here. Well, thank you very much. Now I can go back down across the country and uh, and uh, continue with those efforts. Well, I hope you have a pleasant trip. Thank, well, thank you. Thank you very much.